Well, welcome to Speakeasy, everyone. It's Easter. This is coming out on like Good Friday. So I made you a small drink for that reason, but also because it's quite strong. Ah, it's so Fair good. Warning, I've already Aaron. tried it. Yeah, I'm going to have a few drinks. It, and it is in a hollow, um, a hollow chocolate squirrel, which I just cut the very tip of its tail off so that we can put a straw, a drink and a straw into there. And not just any squirrel, it's a Ferrero Rocher squirrel. It is. Mm. Mm. I love this So chocolate. you can drink your little drink and then you can eat the chocolate too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then wonder why you don't fit into your pants anymore. Yeah. <laughs> pants are for suckers. <laughs> just get bigger pants. Who cares? Do you know what the drink is? Anybody? Is it bringing back any memories? Of mm -hmm. This reminds me of like a whiskey coffee liqueur drink with that I like used to like you know they serve it with coffee sometimes and they oh. would put like a what do you call it, what was it the irish coffees oh Ooh, That's yeah a totally and, and a coffee yeah. liqueur like yeah i, I know you had mentioned kalua but it could be bailey's or it could be kalua mm -hmm. or it's very strong it's very delicious <laughs> she just pour, Aaron just poured her back I out of her chocolate because like i poured it out of my chocolate because i'm gonna <laughs> chew on my chocolate now cause... that's okay it's very i know that it's very strong for anyone and don't overdo it okay it is um a mudslide wow a kalua mudslide kalua that's right. Bailey's Irish cream and vodka. And vodka, it's, okay. It's equal parts. There's nothing in there that is not alcohol. That's right. It's very strong. Oh, so there's no milk added to it or nice. I nope. like. I'm warm. Right. My face is got really warm. <laughs> It's quite strong and, mm. and it's um we only have in our little drinks about three quarters of an ounce of each of those okay. so it's like a two ounce drink it's not very much but it's so sweet mm -hmm. and rich that i can't nice. imagine drinking more very that. much of that. Mm -hmm. this would be good with milk this is something i would want to put with with milk because mm -hmm. i'm kind of like a small child i just want to <laughs> like make my milk taste sweet and delicious and coffee-ish yeah, as I'm having trouble swallowing, I'm like, <laughs> there's like, whoa, what did I just serve them? <clears throat> what did I Why is up? Kahlua called a coffee liqueur? Is it made from something to do That's with coffee? That's a good question. I don't know if it's made with it or it's just made to taste like it. Sarah's Googling. Sarah's going to Google it. I can always go and rescue the bottle and find out. <laughs> it didn't say to refrigerate. No, but Bailey's, you don't have to refrigerate either. Oh, it is and made. It is a coffee liqueur. It. It's made with coffee beans and rum. So oh, that makes sense. I didn't know that. So we have lots of alcohols in this. Apparently it was the frozen mudslide. Now I'm not sure what made it frozen, but that was um, invented in the 50s at a bar and grill on the Grand Cayman Island. Ooh. And Ooh. you can still go to that bar apparently. And it is the island's signature drink. Ooh. Does it have uh, crushed ice or something in it that makes it all... Yeah, maybe they pour it over shaved crushed ice, ice or something? That actually would be really good. That would be super tasty. To kind of like tone it down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> to not shock your system so much because <laughs> it's so sweet it's like, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it makes me think of way back when we used to drink not way back well it was long enough ago that i drank milk so that was a long time ago. oh okay because I, I think so. it was probably i don't think i've been able to drink milk since i was about 24 years old so mm -hmm. <laughs> quite a long time ago but it's remember it was like vodka few, yes. kalua and milk yeah, the White Russians, wasn't oh, it? Is that what that one was called? It was the White oh. Russian and a Black Russian, but I don't know what... Wasn't that a White Russian? Yeah, I think you I'm might be sure right. I'm sure it was, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I thought you were going to say they walk into a bar and tell us a joke, oh. but... Because I used to drink those too. Vodka, Kahlua, and mm. cream. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think we had it with milk and we called it yeah. White Russians. Or maybe we just called it the wrong name, small town where I was. But anyway, that's what this reminds me of. So Erin, you're not far off if you wanted to mix it with milk. This mm -hmm. just also mm -hmm. has Bailey's. Well, maybe Bailey's instead of milk. Mm. Mm. It wasn't sweet that. enough without the Bailey's. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Need a little more sugar in there. I went to the uh, mouth spa this morning and had oh, my teeth mouth clean. Spa. Mouth spa. Right. <laughs> Only you would call. Mm -hmm. I call it more like the torture chamber. Torture chamber, yeah. I know. See, you just have to change your perspective on it. The dentist is the spa for your teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's nice to get it done, but I need a crown on my teeth. 
Just pull it. Just pull it out. I don't want to pull it if I don't have to. I was kidding about pulling it. <laughs> to pull your teeth out. <laughs> so this was a thing that was fashionable to do when my grandmother was in her 30s. You would get all your teeth pulled out and get dentures. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. That my was mom, like, my grandma too. she Jenny. saved up for my it. She said it was one of the things she regretted doing most in her life. It was the most painful experience mm -hmm. she's ever been through. My and she, too. she hated her dentures. Can you imagine? So my grandmother had dentures? strong, beautiful, perfect teeth. Mm -hmm. And they were pulling healthy teeth out of a gum. Mm -hmm. So imagine how rooted those, beautifully rooted those, those oh. teeth were. And oh. everything was done in one, in one yeah. go. Oh, yeah. that's so awful. Yeah, Ugh. that's what my grandmother awful. said too. So it was... Um, and then you have to wear those dentures. Yeah. So horrible. Enjoy your teeth. Yeah. Keep them always. <laughs> Enjoy the teeth yeah. you've got. Until Drink you sugary can't. drinks and then you don't have to get yeah. them pulled. And they'll just fall out. <laughs> <laughs> If you're gonna get your teeth pulled out, you might as well rot the shit out of them. And have fun doing it. <laughs> Make sure it's tasty. <laughs> Next time you go to the dentist, call it the mouth spa and you will have so much more fun when you're there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's sweet, but it's strong, so it offsets. It's very yeah. desserty. It's yummy. It's a sipper. For sure. Mm -hmm. um, I had seen a hollowed out bunny somebody had done. And I was thinking you could do like, say for Easter brunch or something, cut yeah. the tip, the bunny ears off, do a hollowed up bunny mm -hmm. and put like for the kids and put like milk or chocolate milk <gasps> into it would be really cute for like that Easter is brunch. A fun idea. I've now moved on to eating the chocolate. Mm. This is the benefit of having a small drink when you finish it. You can just eat your chocolate. Ooh, more sugar. Two ounces is definitely enough of this drink, I'd mm. say. Because mm -hmm. you're taking very small sips, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Oh, I learned mm -hmm. something new the other day. I see we're all drinking through little uh, paper straws. Mm -hmm. And I learned that the glue in paper straws actually has gluten in it. And oh, no. so if you are somebody who has celiacs or is gluten free, you can't use paper straws. Oh. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, that's good to know. I thought that was information that I had not heard yet about mm -hmm. gluten yeah. allergies and drinking. So there you go. That's your, your learning tip for the day. And um, chocolate. I'm join you, Heather. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. Chocolate time. Thank you for buying me an Easter treat. Yeah, you're welcome. Squirreling away in my squirrel chocolate. Mm -hmm. Finally, the squirrels are good for something. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, it feels kind of good to bite into them, doesn't it? <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. <laughs> I'm gonna mute now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You can find these recipes under the Speakeasy tab on 3kitchenspodcast.com. You're gonna have to edit up the sounds of me like gnawing on chocolate. Me too. <laughs>